Well, uh, Hutch up what seems to like to be here from the European Bantamweight champion himself, Thomas Somba. Yeah, Thomas, a uh, good, good little bit of uh, nature there, and uh, first of all, pardon, je ne parle français, so thanks for doing this in English for me. Um, did you ever spar with uh, Charlie Edwards or come across him before? No, never, never have that possibility to spar him. Uh, never asked me sparring. I never asked him to, so he never have a chance to, to spar him. Okay, uh, he's obviously been quite the uh, high profile flyweight during his career. Uh, what are his strengths and weaknesses? Say that again. Uh, what do you think are his strengths and weaknesses as a fighter? Uh, weaknesses, as we said, to be honest, you know, in a division is a new in a division, you know, in a bandom way. I think you have only one fight in a bandom weight. Um, and then me, I've been there, I've been there a couple of times. So uh, I think he's just, I, he, he think, he just think like, uh, I don't know what to say, I don't know weaknesses, but I think he's, he's going to struggle with my power because I believe that I have a more, you know, if you to do flower weight, and the flower weight is, 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 is a different power. You know what I mean? And then I believe that when I'm going to test my power, oh my goodness, I think he's going to he's going to doubt himself. Obviously for yourself, you've had a quite, the, quite the story that has told a long uh, journey in boxing as a great amateur now, almost just one step away from the top level. Um, you deal with this do you think at 36 you can still get that highest yeah yeah that's what I'm said you know I'm African man you know we honestly we in Africa they said you man from 30 you understand because it's the, the, the age I have now it, my mental I'm stronger I'm I know it's the, the time I have to give everything until 40 you understand it's well I'm 36 now I still have maybe 3-4 years if you keep winning yeah. You understand? And then I know I will do it. So for me, after this win, by the grace of God, uh, I leave everything will come by himself. Yeah, so presume at 36, you feel fully strong and powerful at this point. I feel very, very strong. Very, very strong. I think you, when I said, you know, they are the things I used to do when I was younger. I'm not doing now because I'm conscious. I know what I, I know how to do beef it, I know how to keep my fitness. Or when I was uh, 20, 19, 23, with the age, like I'm no, I don't know what I'm doing. I can work hard. Then in the weekend, I start to do shit. You know what I mean? But now it's different uh, because everything, I have a more experience about life. You know what I mean? I train, I know how to keep my fitness, I know how to control things, I know how to control myself. So. All of those things, I think you need to know all that to, to be in a top level. Sure. He mentioned there, uh, sorry, you mentioned there that he might have watched your last fight and think he's now got an advantage. Um, what, what do you think uh, were the difficulties uh, in your last fight against him? Yeah, of course, my last fight, you know, I know uh, the fight was close. What I look make I make the fight look close because I do go to on a six power fight on the, on the first six round, then. The second power fight, uh, I looked tight, which I straight off myself. I remember I always say that on a round seven, I say, you know, like in a fight, you put you walk in your head, you say, okay, I'm going to take easy this one, and then take easy, and then I come back. But when I decide to take back, I take it easy, the guys come strong, and then he make me tight, you understand? I did recover very well, and then, uh, that, that happened. And up to you, keep living, living, living. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back strong. So that the run was going. You understand? It's only that. I think that is the reason he took the fight because you see, I finished the fight very tight. Mm -hmm. uh, is this is uh, my fitness wasn't hundred percent like I do this one because I know Charlie is a top level, is the fo a former world champion, and then I think. Uh, Myself, I put my fitness hungry. I try to put my fitness hundred percent because I know I'm natural strong. I'm natural powerful, so I don't have. To, I didn't want to put all of those things. Just work on my fitness more. Would you say the important thing you learned from the last fight was 
manage the rounds, how to conserve your energy, but still win the rounds without letting no, you. no manage like I know I can box, I can. I can start start from the, from the first round to keep it the same rhythm from the beginning to the end. So that means if you decide to fight, I had to fight stronger to for 12 rounds. Is that I learned last time? You understand? Because last time I say I I train for six rounds and I need to win six rounds and then later on second part of the fight I will I will manage it. But that is not like that. This one I learned how to start from the beginning to the end. That means from the beginning, if you start strong, I have to, I have to stay strong until the end. And of course, this uh, white being screened on the television, terrestrial television. Of course, great opportunity to get your name. Yeah, known. imagine everyone, everyone know Charlie. Charlie is a, is a famous guy, the champion. I, I mean, he's a former world champion, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, beat him. I think it will be good for me, and people will, everyone will know who is Thomas Esomba. Absolutely. You mentioned you're an African man there, and there's a big talk in boxing. Who knows, Riyadh season could do a big event in Africa. Um, a lot of us fans were saying it'd be great to have a rumble in the jungle too, maybe in Kinshasa. If they had that, would you love to be part of it? Oh, of course. It's in African, like I want to say the continent, oh, that continent is a big continent, and then I think people have to know. You know, I believe that a lot of people, they don't know, they still don't know that African is a continent. Because when I talk of friends, some of friends, they say, uh, I only say Africa, that means it's one country. <laughs> you know, they don't know, a lot of people, they don't know that it's a continent and, and it's a very big. And then, um, yeah, people would like to know, I think people would like to know that continent more and know that they are very talented boxer. Uh, any sport anyway come from Africa and then I'm, I'm one part of I'm, I'm one of them one of those people come from Africa so I'm here now I have a true education so for me it would be good for both both people here and people in Africa to to, to know more about that Absolutely. Yeah. Like mm. that means some of the fans we'd love a trip to Kinshasa <laughs> ah, of course ah, it would be big it would be great big thing big thing all right Thomas uh, thanks for your time I just finally just want to tell us how does the fight end on Friday night? Yeah, um, whatever I'm, I'm expecting to to keep in my title, that means I'm still, whatever knockout or on point, I just want to be a champion on that night. So on 27th, I will be champion again and again. And still, Thomas Isomba. All right, Thomas, so thanks for your time. Good luck Friday night. Thank you. Speak to you after the fight. Thank you.